So, it is time. It is time to head through to get the mortar. We in with a mortar. We've got a number of keys. Oh, we've got quite a few keys. Oh, quite well off the keys. I like that. So if you're quite well off the keys, it might be an idea to use the keys. Wait a minute, what needs to be done here? Oh, he's got a whole bag of food, hasn't he? Yeah, that is a whole bag of food. So, that can go there. We don't need to carry that around. We've also got... Been hmm. I don't know, I'm thinking about leaving that there, really. Because he's got so many darts. That's, that's quite impressive, isn't it? He's got crossbow. Oh, wait a minute, have we got any more quarrels? I think we've got one more. Uh, no, that's, that's arrows. I thought there was another coral somewhere. Actually, it's only one. Oh, we've only got one icon. I don't believe that. It's got one icon, that's it. Oh, we've got loads of torches. And they're quite heavy. So I think we're going to stow those. He, um, what is he doing? Oh, he's top alchemy now. That's good. Uh, he's got bullets. Um, got loads of these, which is good news. Alright, uh, she is just heavy, and that is situation, she just is. Uh, she's got this fantastic armour. In fact, when we got it, we made the mistake of leaving the uh, rapier back in the flooded level. Oh my god. She just can't take this stuff. Uh, yeah, we made the mistake of leaving. Uh, we need to go and get that. So let's go and get it now. So we came down here earlier and we got the Manor Armour, which is quite amazing how you can get be lost on the way back. It's just a, sh a short distance. Should we go and get some of the food or not bother? I don't know, it's such a long way down here. Here it is, love. This is the problem. Going down here is a long way. Now where are we? I've done it again. I think if you trace it like this... You're joking! Wow! God, that was pricey, wasn't it? That was pricey. But we've got four of those things. I suppose we can afford to do it. Wow. Okay, mine the tour can hold it, I think. Um, what about this other stuff? Is this really worth carting this round? Wait a minute, what is that stuff? Oh, that's for him, isn't it? He's qualified on it now. Uh, yeah, it's going to be better than this stuff. This stuff is great, but I think this has got the edge. Um, this is actually specifically for him. But it's a lot heavier. Wow. Um, wait a minute. He's on light weapons one. And this is a light weapons one, isn't it? He hasn't got any other light weapons at all. So in case he needs to go on the front, he's got a light weapons one there. Um, this guy has put this armor on. Oh, right. Okay, don't need that. He doesn't want to carry that. Um, so the Minotaur is flipping strong, he can do it all. Right, so he's got this, it is pretty damn good, I quite like it. It's got protection and evasion. Um, this stuff is probably not far, oh there it is there. Right, I thought I'd seen it somewhere. So this stuff is very nice looking and I don't think it's far behind this reed arm, but I think this reed armour has got the edge, you know. 
Oh, I can't believe it. We lost the flipping two two handed weapon. I just don't believe that. I don't know where it went. It just went missing. It's absolutely mad. Um, we had a fantastic two handed sword. And uh, we, we can have another look for it. We lost it on the palace. Um, f a frog swallowed it down its gullet. And that was the last time I saw it. Right, so we're going to go and get the mortar. Now, we can, we can go to the uh, place where you get the mortar. Um, wait a minute, is it this way? Let's try going this way. You can, you can go down to... This is loose. This um, this grating is actually loose. You can actually slide by it. And then when you go down here, there's uh, a fairly interesting area. And basically it's a bit dark. So it is an advantage to have a glow. It's magic orb. This is the way, this is one way you can come to head through to that area. In fact, this is definitely the way. And you end up in this kind of library place. This is it, yeah. It's a lovely library, look. Ooh, there's one from Eden Blyton there. Hmm. Five go away in the caravan. I've read that several times. Excellent. Um, so, we've got a choice of him or her. Can take one or the other. And there's an emergency exit right here in case you get sick of it. Um, ever since I chose the turtle, I thought this is the way to do it. This was a very like a junior puzzle almost, this is so easy. <laughs> Don't be tempted to fire arrows at it or anything like that, because you really want this thing alive. Because he is setting off the pressure plates. Come on then! Oh, we've got one pressure plate, it says on the uh, readout. Two pressure plates. He's been taken out. That's the first time I've seen that happen. Give me an egg. Well. God. Okay, now we've got to use another key. Let's hope we do it this time. So, <laughs> I don't know what that means. We we got seven pressure plates. We're too short. We're too short. Um, so we'll just go back. I think. Uh, that's terrible. That's a complete joke. Wow. So that blinking. I don't know whether it succeeded or not. That was a bit of a travesty. That. Um. Let's go and see what happened. So, you can go the same method away again. It still works. It's quite possible that we've cocked it up. Here it is, same place. So let's go and see what the flipping score is. I'm really. F oh, he's still alive! I can't believe that. Eight pressure plates, there's one left. 
I don't know where it is. That's the problem. Maybe it's this one. I don't think it is, is it? Well, it's only there. Oh, great Nana. Well, that was flipping lucky. God. Um, another set of reed armour. Wow. Okay. These are better gloves than he's wearing. Ah, right, he's got the other gloves. I think everybody's... Yeah, they've all got gloves. Right, that's good. And we've got a whole flipping multitude of keys. I don't think um, Shadow can keep a handle on the flipping keys. That is the best way to be. So now, we are facing... Um, There's a whole lot going on here, apart from the mortar. But I mean, we are, we are just here for the mortar, so we can just stick to the mortar really, and then do stuff that we want to later on. Oh yeah, definitely save it now. Now that we got this far, flipping it, I wish I'd have saved it earlier. Okay, so we are going to chuck over this thing. I went too far. Maybe just some clothing. God, it went too far! Oh, that hit. Right, one pressure plate has been hit. So you can chuck over some more of like these shoes. Yeah, it did it. It did it. We've done two tricks. We've done... Oh, no! Why did you do that? <laughs> So another way, a, a different way you can get to that area where the mortar is, is you can just jump into this bit and then just go down this ah! bit here. <coughs> takes you down to what's known as the Southern Beach. He's been a bit injured by that. So got to be a little bit careful when you come down into this bit if you want to um, avoid that crazy Queen Cassia who is hibernating at this very moment so that's why you've got a peaceful beach that is the reason you've got a peaceful beach so we're down here blimey he's still going he's still going look at this it's unbelievable. God, he's indestructible. He's actually indestructible, that little critter. So we got, this is where we got to. Oh, of course we saved it, didn't we? Okay. Um, very good. Right, so we got two out of how many? Five, is it? That's six, I think. One, two, three, four, six, yeah. So another item of clothing would probably be good. Didn't go far enough. That went too far. I knew those sandals are coming handy. Right, so... Oh, that hit. And the thing is, that didn't hit. Right, one, two, oh, I see, we've got that one. I went a little bit too far. I don't believe that. 
So, surely if you go back like this, it should work. Didn't know. Oh, it's gone too far again. Alright, try to make this. Oh, it did. That worked. That worked. Okay, we've got a dart on there. So, uh, we've got five of six. Uh, so, basically, we've got one more. It says five pressure plates. We've got one more to go, and then this wall rises up, and you can go and collect your mortar. It's actually a simple as that. I can't remember which pressure plate we next to, we need to do. It's this one. Right, so any item of clothing will do. Any item of clothing will do. This, so look, this is why you need to carry this clothing man. It's done it. Right, we're done. We're done. So what do you want to do? Do you want to go and get it? Because it's not a good idea to go and get it if... Oh, I'll tell you one other thing as well. I always come to the very first one and remove an item. Um, it's a really good idea to do that. But anyway, we can just go and collect the mortar now. It's as simple as that. I thought it was anyway. Let's just go and collect the mortar and just be done with it. There's a lot more going on here than that. But if you just want to collect the mortar, you just go down here. And this is it. Right, here is the mortar, right here. We've just collected it. It is an essential. Uh, artifact in the game, and the sooner you get it, the better, I suppose. Right, here's a git. Um, quite a good idea is to grab this free sack of goodies. This is why we cleared out this area previously to allow an escape from here. See what's going to happen, can't you? With this flipping big herder around, that would have been pretty ca catastrophic, really. Now got the mortar, he 
can actually use it. So I give him a flipping go. Right, he's now going to use it. He's looking good. That is impressive. Oh, right, and he can do these things as well. Flipping too much. So they all, they're all feeling the flipping load, aren't they? Um. He's got a bag of food. Uh, that's an empty sack now, but he's still got plenty of food there. She's a bit hungry. He could probably have a kip, I think. I don't know. Maybe. Um, he can also do these. Yeah, fantastic. That's going to be well worth doing that. They're all looking a bit more cheerful. As soon as you get the mortar, you, you get so much with it. It's so really fantastic. Actually, I quite like the poison bombs that you can make as well. Do, do some poison bombs. Yeah, put in top job. See, he doesn't really want them things. I've got five of them. Didn't know that. Didn't know. Oh, right. These can all go in here. Of course they can. Much better idea. Okay, great. Oh, they can do this. They can do all kinds of potions, can they? Oh, I got that. I did that one by mistake. Um, right, so that is really, really fantastic to get that mortar. It is a, an amazing part of the game. Another key. Shield. Doesn't really want it, does he? Last time that happened, we lost the two-handed sword because of this guzzling flipping frog on the palace. In fact, we can get to the palace now. No problem. It's a big old place, this. What is even more tempting is there is a little staircase here and all you've got to do is crash it. You can actually crash it with your sword or in this case an axe. So we're just going to crash it and it's gone. So now we head, oh this is so good this bit. This is very good. So yeah. Oh. No you can't crash this one. Yeah, this one won't crash. It's a bit stronger. It's not quite so frail. But the thing is, if you've got a rapier, then you you quit in because there's a rapier lock, similar to the one underwater that we used before. Uh, it's foraging, really. It's a foraging one. There it is. There. So you can see that you can go through into there if you've got a rapier sword. Been well worth it. Right. 
time to break out the rapier sword. We brought the first. So we go in and gather some more flipping herbs. So if you've got, oh yeah, eight on that, marvellous. Five on that, there's, so there's a lot of herbs worth checking out in this little bit, and all you need is a rapier, so. I think that's probably it, I mean, very nice too. Need another rapier sword there. Just goes on and on and on. So, you've got a Tomb Keeper, which we've got one, but then all that lot are going to come out, so that's not brilliant. So we just spotted this lot here. So really, I think we need to release them, you know? That's, that's the idea I'm getting. And if you release them from the other side, they will fill up that garden. Uh, which is a very small area compared to this flipping lot. This, this is like twice the size. If you go round there and you get that, um, yeah, if you put the key in here, this gate will open and then this lock will empty out into this small area, which I suppose actually might be an idea. Hmm, thinking about it. I am thinking about it. Just flipping through. And now, take the rapier. They're trapped in there, so it might be a good idea. So, could also, they're all emptying out into that now, but I, th I think it's a good idea to let them fall out. I really do. Let them all disperse, that's my idea. Let them all disperse because it's quite a flipping battalion of crazies, you know. This is quite a picnic area for herbs. Blimmin' heck. Um, she's gonna go up mm. on top light weapons. I've never had the top light weapon out of that. I don't think I have anyway in, in this game. It is a golden sword, silver serpent mm. sword type of thing. Have we got one of those flipping anti-venom things? He can make one, can't he? I nearly forgot. Mm. He can flipping make one, for God's sake. Is this and this and that? Do another couple of those. And there's nothing around at the moment at all. Oh! Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. So. Um, I suppose that was a bit daft. Nowhere to go that's safe. Um. Wait a minute. Um, I just remembered something. 
that those gates are closing. They don't stay open forever. Uh, what is the what is the bloody point of this thing? Oh, it's this trap door, I think. I think it. I think the whole thing is the trap door. Uh, I'm gonna try it. Ah! Oh yeah, it is. It is the trap door. Flipping too right. So, what is the thing with this? Yeah, this is a flipping key bonanza down here. There's a locksmith's flipping anniversary get together, and they've all gone off for a tea break, leaving all the kids. This lot, look. It's just mad. <laughs> Secret of the month. Wow. Can you bloody believe it? Oops, I think we landed. Um, I don't know where we are though, this is the only trouble. Oh, here we are, there's a light. A light is your friend. Alright, that's good. That's absolutely brilliant. So, can we get back there? Hmm. Ah, there's another secret in there. Yeah, it's this place, look. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll have that. If we can grab it. I'm not having a lot of luck at the moment. Got the sack. That'll do. But I wouldn't mind that. Oh, got it. Got both. Got both ones. It was a bit tricky to grab. Uh, let's have a little look on this one. What does it do? It is an upgrade from this pole axe, definitely. Um, I think he can hand hold it. Yeah, it's definitely an upgrade, that one. That's good. Uh, fine. So... Oh, that's what we found. That's what we found. In there. This is where it was. We lost the two-handed sword somehow. That was just ridiculous. And we gained this fantastic axe. Ah, absolutely brilliant. There's a there's a there's a toad down here now. Oh 
he's, he needs one of these things. So if you head through this way, um, it might be... Is there a gate open here or not? I don't know. Maybe not. Kept on thinking there's a special gate around here. Shortcut gate. Let's just see if it's open. No, it hasn't. It is worth checking every now and again. At some point that gate opens. Well, that'd be handy to add that. Um, definitely. So, really need to get that flipping rope. I don't know if you spotted it a minute ago, but uh, we passed it up, didn't we? Why did we pass it up? <laughs> Tell you what else we passed up is this blue stuff. Is he passing now? He's ridiculous. Can't pass this stuff up. Yeah. It's too good to pass up, mate. Definitely. Is there some more of it down here? I think there might have been, but I think we had it. Right, so... We can go and get a rope. Definitely get a rope. Have a look, see if you can spot it. Yeah, there it is. There's the rope there. Definitely need to get it. So let us get it. Oh, it's there. Right, so grab it immediately. Definitely grab it immediately. Actually, it's flipping really important. Flipping fight our way out of this as quickly as possible. seen it. There's a note in here somewhere as well. Can't see it. Anyway. We got the rope. We got the flipping rope. Too much. Okay. But we're happy with that. Right. Maybe it's time to go and do a bit of stowing. Oh, we can we actually can actually go down this way, can't we? Just use the rope. We can actually go down every time we go down there. Otherwise, if you don't use the rope, it's a question. Oh my God, are these doors open down here? No, they're not. No. Okay. Thought those doors would be open now, but they're not. I just want to do a bit of stowing and then... What needs to be stowed? Oh, all these keys, don't they? We've got a flipping... Yeah, look. We've got so many keys, it's ridiculous. It's just taking up a lot of room. So, who would have thought it come to this? Who would have thought it, but I mean... We 
chucking keys onto there. She's got uh, three iron keys she's carrying. She's still overweight. Oh, she's not overweight, is she? It's just that she's injured. Amazing. Um, yeah, they're looking pretty good. I was thinking about um, this thing here. We go down here and I thought that door would be open by now, but it's not. Okay, get over it. <laughs> what is this trap door that's down here though? We've been down it before or not? I don't know. sell by day to be honest. Uh, we don't need it really. God, we're really short of missile ammunition.
first gear key that we, we found. Why is he overweight now? Oh, it's all these things. He's got just got too many of these. Simple as that. Who would have believed it? Who would have believed it? So we can get a bow and arrow simply by that. You need two gear keys to very He does those jumps. Wow. He's off the burning swamp toe. Thank you very much. So, we are heading through to the same place again, I think. We got the rope, so now we're going to get a bow and arrow. This guy can go up on firearms, really. I mean, there is such a choice to go up on. venture around the other side, which we haven't, it's a really good idea to save it in case you blunder into the flipping Queen Cassia herself. You're going to have a look around up here, you're getting quite close to this Queen Cassia. It is a time at the time, wait a minute, is this, this is getting very close to where she is. See there's a trap door there. What's that go down to? I don't know. Hmm. It is tempting. It is nice to have all these different options. <sighs> um, I was going to go down there, but I thought, no, I want to go and get this bow now. Because uh, we got uh, so short on quarrels. Right, if you have a look... I thought there was a note down here somewhere. There is no note, is there? I can't see it though. It's really strange. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, come on behind us. Let's go right there. Marvelous, isn't it? Take this. Yeah, you gotta make sure that there's always one. No, it's not there. Oh, it is there! There it is! I see it. It's on the very end one. So you need that. Actually, need that. Um, so that you know what the code numbers are. So that is definitely worth watching out for. I wonder where the heck it was. It's in the most difficult position, of course. So, this is the puzzle with this thing. You need two gear keys. We've got one. We need two to get to the blessed short bow. So, the best thing to do is to save it. Because this is quite dangerous, getting the second gear key. Let's have a look at the keys we've got. We've got... She is the holder of the keys. We've got no gear keys there. Okay, Minotaur was holding the one gear key that we got. Um, won't take um, any other keys. Oh my god, you're joking. Not again. Spiders out here, come this way. Gits, where are you? See, there aren't any now, are there? Oh my god, there is. Charming. this thing. Four. Right, so, as I was saying, um, we do need to save it before going on to get the second gear key. Uh, so that we can get a bow. I mean, the reason we need a bow is that we've got this crossbow. We've got two quarrels with it. We've got three darts, so the ammunition is really low. So all this lot opens up. Um, after you solved the puzzle. This, the second gear key is up here. And you want to get it, so there's a few clues. This torn cloth is supposed to be a clue, but the, there's a better clue with that dark arch up there. kind of shows you that behind that wall is a ladder. Oh, another icon. Right, we'll have that. And another one. We're in Icon Heaven. Right, so... What we need to do is to have a look around. And see what is what. Ah, 
<laughs> first thing to do is to jump down here out of the way. See, that shortcut's now opened up. And that's opened up. What that is, I don't know. Um, got some other positions to fight down here now. So now we've got two gear keys and we can go and get under the bow. But it's not as simple as that, is it? Because now you've got the army of evil. Flipping sort out. the score down here. Is there anything else happening down here? So it's quite handy. You've got a nice... Oops! Then he went down there. I don't know what he's down there. I think it's just a shortcut. Save it again. Let's check it out. Let's have a look. I don't think it's anything special, but we'll have a look. Keep that fella. Got that rapier sword there. We didn't finish off what we were trying to do, did we? We go. Oh, there's another mission down here as well. I forgot. Apart from that, you can actually jump down to this one. Hmm. Yeah, we didn't finish off stuff in there, did we? There is more to do in there. Definitely. But anyway, there is a nice little mission here to do, def definitely. If you jump down onto this... Oh, there's an ethereal blade. Definitely worth having. And another rapier! Wow! How about that? And some more darts. Well, I'll have those if I can grab them. Oh, I got them! I got them! God, we did so well out of that! Right, we've gone from 4 darts to 11. Really happy about that. That is so good. Right. Um, so having jumped down to this bit, you do need a key, but we're absolutely overflowing with it. So it gives me joy to actually be able to use one. <sighs> so let's just use a key. Where does it go down to? Let's have a look. <laughs> This is the flooded level. Definitely is, isn't it? What do we do down here then? I don't know. There's another one where you got to use another key. Is there anywhere else we can go? Yeah, I think so. Where, where is this? Where the flipping heck is this? Oh my god, hello. There's another, there's another blade. There's another flipping blade. Oh no! What do we do? I don't know. I've missed, I've missed something somewhere. I don't get that. I don't get that. Um, what's going on? I've, I've cocked it up somewhere. Jesus Christ. Um, blimey, I, I, there was something I didn't figure out there. Mind you, we've, luckily we've got loads of these things, so now is the time to use them by the look of it. Um, okay, so we've got the tomb key and another iron key. But which way do we go here? I don't even know where we are. Um, Oh right, this is where we are. Blimey, I don't know which way to go. I've got 
no idea which way to go. Save it. Oh my god, that still hasn't opened that door. So I don't think this is going to be much for it. Good. Um, Icon City. Got some marvellous icons to put on our pride of place. Uh, and there is so much else to do. We've got such a list to do. Oh, it still didn't get the bow. Still didn't get the bow. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Um, so this key here is probably well worth doing right now, actually. Let us go and do it right now. Basically, that's it here. <coughs> so now you can see the Shaman Staff. And to actually get it, you do need four more Tomb keys. How many four? How many tomb keys have we got? Um, he's he's got one there, so she's got two. Oh, we could we could do those three. Yeah. All right. Right. So now you've seen the shaman staff. And the Shaman Cloak, and you can get it, but um, that's it really. We'll come back here when uh, we do those three brass keys, I think. <laughs> loads to do though. Let's go and see what there's uh, just a flipping adventure in it. Yeah, let's go on, let's go and do it just for the hell of it. Um. Oh, do you want to get the bow? Because we've got the shortcut right here, haven't we? Yeah, it's a bit tempting. Right, is that shortcut? And. Oh, this place has filled up a bit. This place has filled up a bit, for sure. Um, it's gone a bit manic. I suppose this is not the uh, area to approach it. I've been ambushed. I haven't done that one before. So I'd be more than happy to do that. Let's go and do that. Yeah, we go and do the old three brass keys. Because we've had these three brass keys, and as soon as you've got you can go down, and I'm not sure the score is with it. Basically, you go down this one and over here somewhere. Is it marked on here somewhere? Yeah, look. 
three brass locks is marked on there. Well, it says brass locks. So we know where it is. I marked it on the map. So it's diagonally across. And you can put all your keys in and you go down to some sort of bun fight. Obviously there's some kind of loot to be had. Might even be able to get in some kind of zeds. Getting close to it, yeah, just over the other side there. This is always worth a laugh. Definitely is. But anyway, here's the keys. Uh, here's the locks, rather. So, number one. Number two. Number three. Number three. You're flipping in. Nightmare. No thanks. Oh, that was close. That was close. Um, what what kills those things? It's sparkler bombs, isn't it? Yeah, it is. To get out. I was right. They're taking the other one out the same way. Uh, cross bomb. This lot looks interesting. I don't know what it consists of, but it's obviously some kind of surprise. 